Welcome to the second video in this four-part video series for the ASR 9000 series line card. In this video, you'll see how to install a line card in the Cisco ASR 9000 series router. Before you begin installing the line card, make sure that you have all the required tools and equipment with you. You must wear ESD gloves to prevent electrostatic discharge. Wear an ESD preventive wrist strap and attach its end to a grounding terminal. If the grounding terminal is on the chassis, ensure that the chassis and the rack on which it's mounted are also grounded. It's possible for one person to install the line card. However, to ensure convenience and safe handling, it's always advisable for two people to carry the card. Do not try to install an incompatible line card. It can result in damage to the connector, both on the line card and the chassis backplane. To protect the ports from dust, retain the dust caps on the line card throughout the installation procedure. Inspect the connector pins of the line card. If there is any damage, do not proceed with the installation. Continuing with the installation can further damage the line card and the chassis. Contact Cisco Technical Assistance Center for further assistance. You're now set to install the line card. Note that this video shows how to install the line card in a chassis with vertical slots. If you want to install the line card in a chassis with horizontal slots, follow all of the instructions in this video, holding the line card horizontally. Unscrew the captive screws on either side of the filler card. Remove the filler card using the handle and place it aside. Slide the line card partially into the empty slot. Ensure that the card is aligned correctly on the guide rail. Do not apply force if the card does not move smoothly. Pivot the ejector levers away from the front of the line card and slide the line card until it engages with the backplane connector. Close the ejector levers. This action seats the line card into the backplane connector. Do not apply excessive force to close the ejector levers. Using a Torx screwdriver, tighten the captive screws on either side of the line card. You have installed the line card successfully. For more information about installing the line card, refer to this guide. If you face any issues with the line card after installation, contact Cisco Technical Assistance Center for further assistance. Be sure to watch the next video in this four-part series, which shows you how to uninstall the line card. 